Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Candace. I am the owner of Clearly Connected and an integrative holistic life coach. I hope that you're all doing well. I am super happy to be here with you today on episode number eight to get Clearly Connected. Before I get started, I just want to take a moment to wish Carrie well and thank her for her contributions on previous episodes. So I have not been on the last few weeks. Unfortunately, illness made its way back into my home. So I was taking care of my family and myself and working with my clients virtually. And you know, I sat down a couple times to do an episode and it just wasn't the right time. I needed to focus my energy elsewhere, but it was the perfect time to sit down and write down what I want to talk to you guys about today. So on a previous episode, we talked about what we, we call pandemic living. And I wanted to weave back into that topic because we are constantly hearing about the impact the pandemic has had on our lives and our wellness on a number of levels. In the last couple of years, there has been a ton of sickness and challenges and heartache. And I also think that the pandemic has brought to the surface a lot of issues that have always been there below the surface but we've all had to face ourselves and our lives in a completely different way. Many people struggle with being alone with themselves, completely being present and still, not being busy and distracted and on the go. Connection is an important part of our lives and that changed considerably over the last couple of years, but not many people learn what it means to be connected to themselves. I was home again for two weeks straight and found myself once again thinking about how grateful I am because if all of this had happened many years ago, I don't know what position I would be in because I didn't genuinely feel well. I wasn't really that happy and fulfilled in my life. So I ask people all the time, you know, when the world shuts down, when things get quiet, when you're not busy and distracted, how do you actually feel about yourself and your life? What is that inner voice saying? What are the thoughts that you are thinking? You know, what is happening in your environment, in your relationships? Maybe things that you haven't wanted to face. How are you taking care of yourself? You know, how are you coping? Do you have support? All of these questions and facing ourselves in that way can be really difficult, but it's also extremely important because when we start having these real conversations and becoming aware of causes and needs and unmet needs and our conditioning, you know, instead of just putting a Band-Aid on our lives, instead of just looking at symptoms and behavior, that's when we can really heal and focus on wellness and growth for ourselves and our families in a whole new way. Getting clearly connected to yourself and your life can have an impact that lasts a lifetime and for generations to come because what isn't processed passes down. I am super passionate, as you know, about my work because I truly believe that we all deserve to feel our best and reach our life's full potential. That is going to do it for episode number eight. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. I've got some great topics coming up as we move forward and some special guests that I'm really excited about. So I will see you guys again soon on episode number nine. I thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. Take care of yourselves.